Hey there guys, it's Jeffy, and if you couldn't tell from the title, this is the new Fight Story Friday. I try so every Sunday we'll have story time with Jeffy, but the fight stories, I've got a bunch of them, and you guys seem to love them, so that'll, they'll have their own day. I'll put one up every Friday, and then I'll put some other random story up on Sunday. So, as for this one goes, um, I want to go back to the first time, because the last... One was just about how I beat the crap out of a girl, which is awesome. <laughs> you guys seem to love that, but... I'm gonna go back to... It was like my third fight at Jack's house. It was against this kid who was a year older than us. We called him Quasi, because he was really big and fat and, like, hunched over, kind of. He had, that, like, that fat guy hump thing. And we called him Quasimodo, and he was just a big guy. He was on the football team. He was strong. Well, he wasn't on the football team at the time, but later he did start playing football. He was just a big guy. So... They place bets against us. I got put against him. We start off in the living room fighting. And it's it's this is a long time ago. I was like 13, 14 at the time when this happened. So what happened, the way I remember the fight starting was we were both, everyone was in a circle, you know, just around us to make sure that we, no one could run. You know, you can't run away from the fight. You got to stay there and finish it like a man. And I threw a punch. I hit Quasi right in the nose. He backed up about two feet. Looked at me, picked me up on my shirt and my pants, spun in a circle, threw me into a wall. Because everyone spread out when he threw me. They freaked out. And at that point, when he threw me against a wall, I kind of realized, okay, this dude is a lot bigger and stronger than me. I'm totally fucked if I try and fight him like this. So you got to realize I'm a kid. I'm not really that used to fighting. I'm just, I know how to hit people. I don't know how to, like, defend myself. Especially not against someone who's a lot bigger than me. So after I'd hit the wall and I re, you know, got my composition back, stood up and just thought, okay, need to attack him differently. So I tried to do some body shots, and I was quicker, so I got a few hits in on him. I was able to dodge a few of his really heavy punches. And then, I think it was maybe his third or fourth punch, connected right to my temple. That knocked me straight to the ground, and the whole world just started spinning, you guys. It was like, it was like getting hit in the head with a sack of bricks. It was just... I'm laying there like, oh god, I cannot get hit again. I will die. So I got back up to my feet, still kind of woozy. And then, I think I did two, a couple more body shots. Hit him in the nose again. Backed up, started backing up. Because he was really pissed off at this point, just swinging like crazy. Because my hits were, they were hurting him, but not enough. They were just pissing him off. His were knocking me to the ground, mine were just making him angry. So I'm backing up, he's swinging. I get to the edge of the wall of people because we've all reformed at this point. Luke pushes me, maybe it was Luke, I think it was Luke, pushes me back towards him. And he used, I don't know if this was intelligent or just blind fury, but he pushed me. I stumbled forward, and as I stumbled forward, my arms came apart, so I'm not defending myself anymore. I've got no, like, I've got no block up. He actually uppercutted me, hit my jaw, popped my jaw out of place. I fell backwards. Laid there just whining like, oh my fucking god, and was laying there like rolling back and forth. They kind of got him off me, checked me out, and then Luke said, oh no, this happened to me before, hold still. He gave me a popsicle stick, let me bite down on it, then took his palm and the corner of my jaw, pushed it really fucking hard, and popped it back into place. That is the most painful thing, besides having me, my, uh, besides having my arm popped into the socket, that is the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. It was awful. So, after that happened, he looked at me and he said, well, we can either end the fight right now and say that you lost or you can go back in there, what do you want to do? And of course, you know, I have balls, so I'm, <laughs> I was a little kid, I was like, fuck this, I'm going back in there. Because the way I fought, if I could still move, the fight wasn't over. <laughs> and it's stupid, but that's how I was. If I could move, the fight was not over. So they said, okay, you guys have already, I don't know how, I forgot how this happened, but we had broken something like a vase or something in the living room. So they said, okay, we're going to move down to the basement near Luke's room because they had a basement and Luke was down there before he had his trailer. And we were down in the basement now and it's stone walls. And I'm back in the fight. They've all got the circle around me again. And I think what I did was I gave him one good shot to the jaw, another shot to the temple with my left, 
And then I tried to knee him in the stomach as hard as I could, and I actually got him to double over. Which was great. I thought, oh my god, I'm turning the fight around. I can do this. I can win. And then he got up, looked at me, grabbed me by my neck and my stomach, like the area, stomach of my shirt. Picked me up on my neck and my shirt, slammed me, <laughs> like full on like ran like a bull and slammed me into the wall of the basement. So the stone slab wall, the sheetrock slammed into that. Actually, since it was sheetrock, actually put like my back imprint through it. And then headbutted me, and then punched me in the stomach, and then picked me up again and threw me across the room and let me hit the ground and roll a few times. And that's all I remember. <laughs> I blacked out from the pain. That fight, I got my ass kicked so hard. I think after that fight, the next few days, I got this bruise where he had hit me. It was uh, right, I want to say like the top area of the abs. And it was just this gigantic, like, it, it, the exact, it, like, you see each individual knuckle mark and just this huge black bruise. It hurt so bad. And actually, when he hit me into the wall, I got whiplash. So I had to wear this neck brace for like a week. When my parents asked what had happened to me, I actually told them, we came up with this story while I was unconscious, apparently. Luke said, okay, when your parents ask, just tell them you fell out of the truck while it was going because you guys were sitting in the in the back and you were only going like 10 miles an hour. They bought it, so my parents never knew about the fighting or the drugs or the drinking. They <laughs> they thought Jack was a good kid and that nothing bad ever happened at his house. They were so wrong. But that's the story of the first time I ever got my ass kicked really bad. Really, really bad. Like that, that was probably the worst beating I've ever taken. So thank you guys for watching. That was a lot of fun reminiscing about that. Please remember to like the video for more fight stories. You know, if you guys really enjoy these, please give me a like. Give me as many as you can. Tell your friends about my fight stories if they're cool. I don't know. I'm really enjoying talking to you guys about this stuff. I think it's great. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. And uh, leave a comment, you guys, if you want to hear for next Friday. Do you want to hear a story of where I beat the crap out of this uh, kid named Kerry? He pissed me off and I beat the crap out of him. Or the first time I ever fought Jack. Which one do you guys want to hear? Leave that in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.